a very warm welcome to the man cooler than Chuck Norris and the man I always wanted to be, Mr. Richard Dean Anderson, <laughs> a.k.a. MacGyver. A very good morning to you, boss. Hello, Australia. Oh, it is good to see you. I have no idea how much of a fan I am. I'm such a big fan. Everyone else has left the building <laughs> to give me room to see you. Um, look, uh, first, and foremost, first and foremost, uh, thank you for joining us on, on our program. The MacGyver years, were they fun years? I have to say they were quite. I was, um, for one thing, I was young, uh, much younger. Um, I drank back in those days and um, just had a ball, had a steady job for a long time, and I got to do my own stunts, so there was no other way I would like to have grown up in the business. Yeah, well, and stunts were amazing, too. Uh, you are coming back to Australia. I need to ask you this, Rick. Are you coming on a normal plane or on a crafty do-it-yourself MacGyver-style jet made with a Swiss Army knife and some blue tack? Uh, normal. <laughs> <laughs> because although you know the la yeah. the last time I came to uh, Australia I believe um, I was on the flight that had to turn around and go back because uh, some water line had broken and uh, they literally did a U-turn in the middle of the Pacific went back to LA and the pilot at one point said uh, you know if I'd known you were on on board, I would have just kept going and let you fix it. So, <laughs> well, we're just those watching. moments, <laughs> those moments don't go away. We were just watching some amazing vision of, of how um, you um, handcrafted um, a coffin um, and you formed it into a jet ski, <laughs> like it was like Whitlin, but you did it sort of 20th century style. And then you're in that coffin. Somehow you got out and you turned it into a jet ski. It was incredible television. Look, boom. Well, it's all very credible too. I mean, <laughs> my God, we did we as we evolved. We were trying to make sure that uh, kids weren't blowing things up vis-a-vis yeah. um, -vis, uh, uh, MacGyver stuff. So we always left a, an ingredient out. Yeah. But uh, things like what you just watched with the uh, with the jet ski that that was all real and very real so you know, the thing about it is is that it was it, it was that but it was a fantastical adventure i found um remember that last time you're on a flight where there was a, a leak on board and the cabin was flooded you always were there ready and available to save the day or you just sat back and now and do you sit back and think oh if something goes wrong where's macgyver i'm not going to get rescued do i sit back yeah. <laughs> no why not I, um no, well, I have a, I have certain amount of common sense, but that's all <laughs> MacGyver really was. MacGyver was just a matter of looking around and seeing what kind of problem we had yeah. uh, to deal with and what elements to solve the problem, and it was as simple as that. Well, you know, we stretched our credibility a bit. No, you didn't, because you, I remember the, even the Super Bowl commercial you did. This is how much of a stalker I am, where you cut the ropes binding you to a chair <laughs> using a pine tree air freshener. Then you used an ordinary tube sock as the pulley for a zip line and somehow repaired the hot wire of non-functional trucker. You hot wired non-functional truck using a paper clip, ballpoint pen, a rubber band, tweezers, nail spray, and also a turkey baster. It was all kind of dreamy stuff, my man. God, I got all hot and bothered when you talking like <laughs> Don't that. Don't worry, so did I. <laughs> hey, hey, I cleaned listen. Cleaned it up for the morning. Are there any inventions or stunts? I mean, look, it was a great time in TV. Do you miss it? E well, only when people ask me if I do, because uh, I try. I've tried to put everything in perspective. Now I'm a, you know, I'm an old guy raising a, a teenage daughter yeah. and two dogs, so that's the reality for me these days. But yeah, if I reflect, I do miss. There's parts of Stargate that I miss mm. um, as well because Stargate that was, was a that, well, that was a bit of a family unit. Yeah. Uh, MacGyver, I was kind of out there on my own, but I do miss, in part, the the process we went through mm. to solve uh, problems in uh, MacGyver.